Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so yesterday, um, well, last episode, just did some derping around, first episode, I guess. Um, just did some derping around with Top Mass. Um, it just seemed fitting for the first episode, you know? Uh, he was, like, you know, the guy that basically, uh, well, he suggested me to the hermits, and then they all agreed, and yeah, so it just, I mean, it seemed fitting for that to, you know, just mess around with Top Mass being the first episode. Um, but today, I am by myself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I need to, uh, I was looking for a place to live. Uh, I'm gonna live close, uh, just not like, you know, not like right here. Uh, you know, not like right here. Um, I was thinking about doing something with this tree, uh, cause he said he didn't have any plans for it. Uh, I was thinking about doing something with that, but, eh, I mean, you know, that's cool. Uh, but then I was just flying around, just looking around, just seeing what's, seeing what's what. Come on, load. Load. Yeah. Alright, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I saw this thing here. Um... And so I decided this is where I'm going to build. Yes. I think it looks cool. I like it. And then uh, there was a chest. Well, there still is a chest down here. Uh, but it had like it had like diamonds in it. And I took the diamonds. <laughs> it's like, yoink. Um, that's not anybody's chest. Uh, that's just from, I think, the Zelda mod that was removed. Uh, it removed the, the blocks protecting it. It just didn't remove the chests themselves. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this will be right here. Uh, this will be where, I guess, the main part of the base is. And then there's like, uh, this was another one of those Zelda dungeon rooms. Uh, but there, I didn't find a chest in here. I think someone else may have found it before me. Uh, but there was another one, uh, right down, nope, over there, yeah, you can see the chest right there, there it is, yeah, and so I was kind of thinking if need be at a later date, uh, the main part of the base is there, I can always bridge over to this one, and I think that'd be cool, yeah, because this one's pretty cool looking too, I like it, um, most of you know, I love me some mountains. <laughs> I love me some cool mountains. And these are some pretty cool mountains. So I figured it's only it's only right that I, I built here. Uh, well, here to start. And then, like I say, if need be, I can move over there. And, you know, like even down into the, the valley and yeah. And then there, there's a mod that removes water fog. So you can, like, see into the water. Ah. Uh, so nice. <laughs> um, and there's also a roofed forest right there. Like, there's home. There's roofed forest. I love me some dark oak. So, yeah, that's what that's going to be. Uh, but for the color scheme, I, like, well, I haven't decided on a build yet. Uh, I've just decided on the color scheme, which is like the color scheme I generally use. Uh, except I'm going to be using a different wood as well. And it's actually this, this maple. I really like this maple. This stuff is awesome. This is easily, like, my second favorite type of wood after dark oak. This stuff is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to find a couple trees. I cut them down, got some saplings. I actually gave some of them to Top Mass uh, because he liked the wood too. Uh, so I'm just going to be growing these and I hear a spider. I heard us. Thought I heard. Maybe not. Maybe it was just. Oh, okay. That's what. <laughs> that's what it was. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna be growing these uh, to hopefully get a stockpile of wood. Uh, I need to, I guess, build a wood farm of some kind. Uh, there was a no. There was a tree down the middle of this, and I got rid of it. Uh, but it's all lit up, and I started getting rid of the grass because I'm sure, as most of you know, uh, me and grass. We do not get along. <laughs> I see it, and I, and, I, and I just feel an overwhelming need to murder it. Um, never been a fan of tall grass. Like, it can look, it can look okay, 
in certain instances, but for the most part, uh, no. <laughs> it's just no. Just no. Uh, so yeah, uh, I decided that I need to, uh, I guess, go over a few things uh, with joining Hermitcraft, and uh, I've got a few questions in comments and Twitter and stuff, like, you know, what's going to happen to Deathcraft, and uh, I'm no longer going to be recording on Deathcraft. Uh, I'm going to probably do a, like, a, a farewell episode, but... Like, I'm gonna do everything in my, you know, everything I can to make sure that Deathcraft stays around. Um, you know, those guys, they're, they're still my friends, you know, I still, I still talk to them. <laughs> it's just, um, I, I don't really have, like, the time to record several different modded series and several, you know, several different vanilla series and, and I, I just, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, and, Unfortunately, you know, this is gonna, this has to take priority. That's just, I mean, that's the way it is. Um, so yeah, you may see, um, you know, like one or two more Deathcraft episodes. Um, I I'm gonna say one, <laughs> one more Deathcraft episode, just saying, saying so long. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as many of the guys together as I can, and, you know, to do that. And yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, uh, the other question was, am I going to be doing Hermitcraft Vanilla? Uh, I actually got asked that by a few people on the, the, the server, Servner. Um, at this point, like, like, I, I can't say for sure, um, honestly, because, like, I got into Vanilla a little bit again, but it's just, like, it, it really does not hold my interest like modded does modded like modded it's where where i live <laughs> it's where i breathe it's where i thrive i love me some modded um but you know it's it's not something i'm ruling out i'm not saying no i'm not saying yes i'm just saying we'll see uh, there may be some some talk that has already happened about maybe something possibly happening in, you know, within that realm of possibility. <laughs> uh, but that's about as much as I'm going to get into it for now. Uh, it's just one of those have to wait and see kind of things. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten off completely this entire thing. I'm going to build a house here, just like an actual house. Because um, normally when I, when I build... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about, you know, where do I put machines and all that stuff, but I think I'm going to put the machines down in the mountain and I'm just going to have, I'm going to try to build as nice of a house as possible up here. Uh, maybe I'll go watch some Corrales inspiration series <laughs> and see if I can get inspired as to what kind of house to build. Uh, but I just want, like, when people to come here, I don't want anything of a, of a, of a base sticking out. I want just, like, a really nice house here, and then you go into the house, and that's how you get down to, like, the base. The b-b-b-base. <laughs> Alright, guys, uh, so let me get some work done here. Uh, get this all flattened out, get the, get rid of the rest of this nasty grass, and, yeah, I'll be back. I like it. It's coming along. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> I really like these carpenter doors, the way they both open at the same time. It's pretty nice. Uh, so I'm using all the blocks that I said I would use. <laughs> uh, and I think, it, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm using the, the, well, that says silver bell, but it's actually a maple. Yeah, I'm not sure why it says Silver Bell. Um, but yeah, I'm using that as like a, a carpet looking thing. And I figure this room here, this will be partial storage along here. Just, you know, a few chests or whatever. And then this will be where I go down uh, into the mountain to like get to machines and stuff, I guess. Not really sure how I'm gonna 
how I'm going to do this. I guess that was probably best, right? Like that? Yeah, maybe some elevators right here, seeing as how we have open blocks. Aw, oh, yeah, I came just in time. <laughs> Get me some open blocks. Uh, but yeah, I figure with this, I'll go down into the mountain. I'm not sure how far. Uh, probably a good 15... Oh. A uh, good 15 blocks or so. Uh, this is a dark steel pick, but I have not upgraded it whatsoever. I just... yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go down... Yeah, this about here looks good. And then down here, it's going to be, like, full-on industrial. Like, yeah. <laughs> There's going to be, like, uh, the metal chisel and, like, just... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go full... Full industrial look down here. Uh, I want it to counter this. Like, this is going to be like a, a rustic, as you can tell. <laughs> it's like a little a rustic type thing. Not really sure what to call it. Uh, but it's going to, like I say, it's going to be a very, very basic house. Uh, this is probably, uh, I'm going to get a portal at some point. It'll go in here somewhere. Maybe in here. Um, they'll come through maybe here, and then, yeah, I think that would actually, the portal, right, you know what, let's look up that portal, it's what, advanced portals or something? No, um, what is that called, portal? Portal, 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 um, enhanced portals, aha, uh -huh. I think that's the guy everybody's using, right? I guess we could go over to top masses and see what see exactly what it is yeah but I think it's look at that that's looking cool and it's just gonna be some little understated house up on the hill and then underneath it's gonna be all kinds of all kind of craziness going on yeah that guy right there I'm pretty sure that's an enhanced portal right Ooh. uh yes 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 and then the uh, yeah redstone interface yeah so I think I might actually see about let's see what do we need for these let's see portal frame iron block of quartz all right and that gets you how many four and I think that's probably the smallest size you can get but I think I would want mine too wide yeah hmm Exactly. Hmm. All right. So uh, let me let me look at this. I may end up going to the Nether and just getting some quartz or something. And yeah. All right. I'll be back. Okay. So I got the uh, portal stuff all together, and I got a couple dimensional anchors here because you got to keep the portals loaded. And so I'm gonna put the portal here uh, in this wall, I guess. <laughs> And it's going to be too wide, and then... Oh. <laughs> okay. That's... Where'd it go? Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. Give me that. Okay. Yeah. So let's... <laughs> let's go up that way. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then across here. And like so. Yeah, that'll work. And then I think I want to put... Uh, the control stuff here. Hopefully I can. Uh, so let's see, we got the portal controller. I'll slap it there. Uh, network interface, I guess. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Ugh, come on, give me that. Thank you. Okay. So, redstone, oh my god, I did it again. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh, come on. Yeah, those carpenter blocks make things fly all over the place. Alright, so we'll slap that there. And this is right here. Uh, if we hit F9, you will see the grayed out area. Uh, this is the chunk currently loaded by that. It's set to one chunk. Uh, so there's, you know... It, minimal strain on the server hopefully and as you can see this chunk is not loaded 
this chunk is. As you can see the gray, see the gray? Yeah, <laughs> it's gray. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and it shows that this is the, where the chunk is, or where the chunk loader is. So wherever you are in the chunk, you should be able to... What was that? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just set to one chunk, and it's right there under that. Uh, it's going to be under this block here. If anybody needs to find it, it'll be like right, you know, for whatever reason, it's right there. So let's go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, this is another good way to tell this chunk's loaded, this one's not. See? Loaded? Not loaded. Loaded? <laughs> and it's loaded by that. Very cool. That is a really useful thing there. Uh, anyway, <laughs> alright, so, yeah, uh, we got some location cards, we got our, the, the other end of this at spawn, obviously, uh, so let's, portal initialized, alright, and we got our wrench, let's see, no, no, you must, unique identifier, aha, uh, click to modify, and what I did is I went like this, yeah, so I just went, like, I'm, I'm hoping nobody else did that. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody else did. The UID is already... Wait, what? Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> what the hell? That's my UID. Uh, public... Public... Private... Uh, is it... Did I set it to public, maybe? What the? Private? Oop. Nope. Nope. That. Oh, what the hell. Okay. Uh, let's go back to spawn. Shouldn't take long to get there. We'll just go over to Top Mass's base. And... Yeah. Okay, so here's the portal at spawn. And here's the, let's see, there's the network interface. Unique identifier set to private, and that's mine. Why is it? Why you no work, guy? Eh? Um, what should it be? Public? Well, yeah, public. Yeah, because then any. Well, yeah, then anybody can use the portal, right? Or. And then that's. Yeah. So that. Private or public allows all connections, only allow connections from the same DBS. Which is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's... So maybe let's, let's modify it. Let's do that. Save. So it is private. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so what we should be able to do is throw one of these torches. You cannot dial the same portal you were... <sighs> okay, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with it. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the base and see what's going on over there. Okay, so it works. <laughs> um... I guess the uh, the portal controller part, uh, you don't actually have to set, um, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but for now, let's just, let's pretty this up a little bit, and then I'm going to, right there, uh, this, I'm, I'm doing this on, well, actually, you know what, I should, oh, crap. I wonder if that'll, I wonder if that'll be okay. Because the actual portal itself is still in the block. Hopefully that'll be okay. Wait, is this already? No, that's no, that's not loaded. Um. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's redo this. Aha! There. All right. All right. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just had to reset this. Okay. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that'll be okay. Because, uh, like I say, the portal itself is in it. So, yeah, hopefully that'll... 
that'll be alright. Uh, hopefully no creepers or anything decide to come through. I'm not sure whose this is, but we're going to move it a little bit. A little bit. Alright, let's go. What ha? What ha? Oh, nice. Um, whoa. What the? Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That's, that's a thing right there. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so yeah, this should work, right? Uh, let's throw some torches out here just to shed some light. And then do we have anything? Oh, yeah, I made a bag. I made a bag. I made a bag. Um, I kind of want to just put like a little cover over it. Maybe something like that. And a little bit of this. Ooh, not there. Uh. Oh. Um, I think that'll that'll do for now. <laughs> uh, I am gonna put a gate around here just so no mobs can get in. That's why this is here, uh, to keep them from falling and then like accidentally walking through. Uh, so if we go through here, it should take us home. Aha! Suck it! Oh, nice. That is so nice. Uh, and so this is actually a torch lever from Secret Rooms mod. It is really nice. All right, and so if we take those off, ah, suck it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, so now people can come over. You know, I should. Crap. Uh, I need to get into my backpack. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna close this off until I have something down there to go to. Uh, but for now, if anybody wants to come to my place for whatever reason, <laughs> uh, they can now do that. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, out here, if you're wondering why this is so open, uh, this is where Batania stuff's going to go. I do really want to get into Batania. Um, check it out. It's one of those mods I've never, ever, ever messed with, so it does interest me. So yeah, that's what's going to be out here. And that's about it. Uh, that's it. That's all. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see y'all next time.